And so this video begins in Kentucky. And these golden horses sit here at this rest stop just crossed over the Tennessee line. Notice they're painted gold and there's a sign that says please stay off the horsies. It's good to be back in Kentucky, the birthplace of my grandparents. Born, raised, and married right here in good old Kentucky. And I stopped here at this exit because I'm hungry and I want to get some food. But by the looks of this restaurant, I don't think I'm getting any food here. Look at this place. It has seen better days. This might be like a Ryan's. Maybe it was a Ponderosa at one time. Looks like it used to be a buffet. Check out the old sign there. How about, uh, how about we check this place out? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at the ivy crawling up here. You can see the windows. They've been charred brick, trash everywhere. There's a door right here. I'm just gonna peek my head in here. Wow. Look at this. All right, I'm going in. I think I can walk all the way through it. Looks like there's been people living in here. That looks like it used to be the kitchen. That's probably where the fire began. Just, just if I had to guess. Wow. Also, this is very spooky. Hello? Anyone home? This is not how I thought today was going to go. I just got off this exit to get something to eat. Oh, there's the counter right there. This could have been a village inn maybe. Check it out. All right, I'm gonna walk through all the way. I think the door is open back here. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna peek my head over this way. Oh, gotta watch your step. Okay, this may have been the old kitchen. Wow. There's a hallway that way. Check it out. Okay, I'm getting little goosebumps on my goosebumps. I think I'm almost out of here. This is cool to see. I'm gonna walk all the way through the building, folks. That was not planned. Oh, and look who's at the end. There's a little kitty cat. Hi, little kitty. How you doing? Good to see ya. Oh, and you're so friendly, too. Okay. Well, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. Wow, that was cool. Old restaurant here. Comment below if you know what it used to be. A lot of trash just sitting here vacant. Okay, that was fun. Don't try that at home, kids. Check out all the broken glass right here on the sidewalk too. Don't try that at home. I don't know what restaurant these used to be. It looked to me like an old Ryan's, some kind of roadside or um, some kind of buffet. Speaking of buffet. Let's get down the road and get some food. Let's get this show on the road here in Kentucky. There's much ahead. Welcome to Corbin, Kentucky, established in 1902. This is where Harlan Sanders, the creator of KFC, this is where he lived and created the famous recipe. And there's a museum and cafe, and that's where I'm gonna have dinner tonight. This will not be my first time. And here I am back again my first time here was 2014 although this time it looks a lot more glamorous than i remember actually hit my uh wiper blades there whoops look at that big bucket of chicken oh my gosh okay i'm so hungry so check this out in the parking lot beside my car i parked right next to this giant telescopic pole that goes way up with a huge KFC billboard, the Colonel, right there. That could be the world's tallest Colonel, folks. I bet you can see that from Interstate 75. Actually, I think I did. And I'm gonna break this place down piece by piece. This is the far corner of the property. This sign, Kentucky Fried Chicken, it all started in Corbin, and technically it all started here in the 1930s. Welcome, it all started here. I'm just working my way this way. This sign is glamorous. It looks like you'd see this in Las Vegas or something. 
I love it. Very retro, and also you have the giant bucket of, bucket of chicken up there. Although I don't think there's any chicken in it. It says, so tender, so tasty. And there's the kernel right there. So cool to see. Products of the Pure Oil Company. Some old time pure filling station gas pumps, which I still see pure filling stations in some places around the country. There used to be one in South Tampa on the corner of Manhattan and uh, one of the crossroads down there in South Tampa not too long ago, but Pure, I believe, is a franchise and it's still around. It's cool to see these old Tommy pumps. They're in great shape. Get a little closer so you can see the detail. But in front of the pumps, there's some signage here and it looks like the life of Colonel Harlan Sanders finding his way. And if you start from left to the right, you can see he was born in 1890 in Henryville, Indiana. So there you go, the creator of Kentucky Fried Chicken is a Hoosier, just like me. Fun fact there for you. It goes all the way down, you can take a screenshot, you make it last longer. Right here it talks about him moving to Corbin in 1930 where he operates his first restaurant. It consists of a table and six chairs and a small front room of a Shell oil station. There you go, right there. And then they built the restaurant in 1940. In 1956, Harlan Sanders Court and Cafe sold at auction on March 7th. The Colonel intensifies his franchising efforts, and of course, it is now KFC. And then it goes a little bit over here. Looks like in 1990, this cafe became the museum and a national uh, historic place, registered of historical places. So there you go, a little timeline. And here we are, a Kentucky historic marker right out front of Sanders Cafe. Check it out, birth of a legend, Kentucky's most famous citizen, Colonel Harlan Sanders. Began part of his life that brought him fame in a small gasoline service station on the opposite side of the highway. So technically, if you want to get technical, now it's not technical because it wasn't called KFC, but that is where the Colonel first sold his Kentucky Fried Chicken, right over here. There's a community trust bank. And then second, right here for 16 years, and this is where he perfected, perfected his famous recipe. And we're gonna go inside there and eat some chicken. It's on. And just a brief moment so you can look at this sign. I believe this is the original sign and it has been restored several times. The last time I was here, this building didn't look this good. That was 2014, I was on a road trip, and I, just like today, just got off the exit and came on over, but it looks so magnificent compared to the last time I've seen this. All right, let's talk more chicken. Oh, and by the way, I am Tampa J, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. No, I didn't do a traditional intro just because I wanted to change it up. But here I am in Kentucky, about to have some chicken. I hope you enjoy this endeavor. And I hope it's finger licking good. All right, opening the door. Looks like there's a little menu over here. Oh no, it's like a uh, welcome to Corbin, like a welcome center, touchscreen style. Second door, breezeway. This place is not busy at all. Wow, okay, this is nice. All right, looks like the museum's over here. This is the walk up where you order your chicken, the KFC, and over to the right is the old restaurant, the Sanders Cafe, and look, I might be the only one sitting in there. So I'm gonna order my chicken, and uh, actually no, let me walk around for a few minutes first, show you some things, and then come back to get the chicken. I know, I'm hungry, I'm, I'm doing this for the vlog, I'm doing this for you guys though. I must not get chicken first. See the Colonel right there. We're, we're coming Colonel, we're coming. Goodwill, the deposition of pleased customers to return to the place where he has been well treated. U.S. Supreme Court, right here by the original door of Sanders Cafe. This is where everyone would have walked in. This is where the Colonel himself walked in for over 16 years. And it looks like there's several rooms throughout the restaurant here. A lot of memorabilia, a lot of information. It is a museum and chicken. Oh, trust me, fried chicken belongs in a museum. Definitely this one. 
where it all began. This looks like the former kitchen. You can walk right through it. This sign here says, most of the original equipment, the kitchen equipment, was sold at auction in the 1950s. We were able to find almost all of the make and model numbers in the auction flyer. We then searched out sources to get as close to the original as possible. So the equipment displayed is not the original, but some of them are the original models. So there you go, they got it as close as possible, but the original recipe was perfected right here by the Colonel himself in this kitchen. Very cool to think about. Okay, there's like a giant vault door in here. This was not here the last time I was here. That was, what, eight years ago? It says on the vault door, it says home of the original recipe since 1940, Corbin, Kentucky. Oh, I get it, the secret recipe. So it would have been locked behind the vault door in the kitchen. I, I see what they're doing there. There's the Colonel. Oh, hello Harlan. And you may already know this, but the fried chicken here was pressure cooked. I think they call that uh, roasted. The pressure changed everything. And that was one of the secrets um, Harlan Sanders uh, used to cook his chicken. There's a picture with him, with one, a pressure cooker right there in his hand. Oh, here's a little information. Above on the left is a copy of the drawing Harlan submitted to obtain his patent to cook chicken under pressure. The photo shows him holding a pressure cooker similar to the one he bought at a local Corbin hardware store and ultimately used to perfect the recipe in 1939. But this is the schematic that Harlan uh, drew himself on April 12th, 1966. And there is the man, the myth, the legend right there. So this whole room is supposed to represent like a vault room. So over here is the 11 secret herbs and spices. I mean, they, they're um, in there somewhere among all of those. Ooh, it's a mystery. What's in there? I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the secret recipe, recipe, because the internet finally leaked, I'm sure it's out there on the deep dark web or probably out there just on a quick Google search, but. Not so secret anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay, this whole part of the building wasn't here the last time I was here. This is very cool. Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's an old sign there. Oh look, the Colonel's right there in the corner. Hey, what's going on? I think there used to be one of these statues in front of my local KFC up in Indiana when I was a kid. And we used to sit by him. Kind of like the Ronald McDonald statue at McDonald's, but what, what's with fast food and their statues? Bring those back too. I, I miss those. In the display case here, there's a bunch of old pins, KFC pins. I'm just gonna go sweep left here. I like this one, ham it up. It's got the kernel on there. Oh, there's one with uh, foghorn leghorn. I say, I say, son, have a barrel of fun. Oh, that one's cool. It's easy as KFC. Also, what is this? Looks like the Colonel is holding a damsel in distress or something. Tender wings of desire. Okay, that might be my favorite. That's just, that's just weird. In this case, some KFC toys. There's the Colonel right there. It looks like he's a, a skiing. It's a wind up skiing Colonel. Also, there's a rubber chicken keychain, which I, I wish I could just have. That's, that's pretty cool. And it looks like there's some photos over here in this display called the early years, the photos of the restaurant back in the day. And there's a young Colonel right there in the 1930s in front of the filling station. That was across the street, present day bank. And this is where he made, first served fried chicken right on the filling station across the street. And this is the old building that was that burnt down before this one was built in 1940 and he moved across moved his chicken across the street from 1940 to 1956 and there's some old, other photos over here check it out there's the colonel right there oh wow he looks a whole lot different doesn't he no beard yet all while keeping his focus on working hard and serving customers sanders court and cafe that was the original name and here's the building we are inside right now. Now notice over here there was more of the building and I believe some of it burnt down um, at one time. But this portion right here is right over there in the front. There's the front door. And there's the front door today. 
the filling station was right to the side. And here are some of the original Sanders Cafe cutlery, checks, all the restaurant goodies, plates. It's pretty cool to see. Also, here's the menu. Wow, look at these prices. So I don't see chicken on this page. This is breakfast, but you can have your choice of hot biscuits or toast, honey and beverage, choice of juice and two eggs, any style served with bacon or sausage, toast and jelly beverage for a dollar. I'll buy that for a dollar. Well, look at that. The Colonel's right here on TV. Come up and sit for a spell. Oh, that looks good. Oh my gosh. I'm torturing myself right now. Okay, that was good. And just to show you, I can't show you everything in here because there's so much. Ooh, I'm gonna check that out in a minute. But look at this. All of the buckets from all over the years on display here. Even some Star Wars. Episode one. Hey, Annie. Oh my gosh, this is so cool to see. You got Yoda there. Even a Let's Play, a KFC play set for kids. Who remembers these? Oh my gosh, I forgot all about those. History of the bucket. Look at this. Nice little illuminated display. Let's just pick one. This looks like a classic here. It's just a display of nine different buckets from all over the years. I think they've gotten a little smaller. Ooh, that one's like a top hat, an Uncle Sam hat. That must have been 4th of July special. The best gift comes in a bucket. Oh, it's Christmas. KFC. Yeah, I was interested in this. I saw this right away. Check it out, kiss the girl. Look at all the Star Wars stuff they gave away. This would have been about the time of episode one, so 1999. I remember when KFC and Pizza Hut were both promoting Star Wars heavily. So cool. Oh, look at this. These are toe licking good. They're KFC Crocs. Looks like they got some popcorn chicken and some actual drums on there. That's something that Jacob the Carpet Bagger would like. And just making my way through the museum. Check it out. I like that the table here is a cutout of the state of Kentucky. There's a, another commercial here. It's on loop. It's finger licking good. Oh wow! I knew this happened. It had to happen, right? The Colonel meets Mickey Mouse, Pluto, and Alice. That's amazing. And over here in this corner, KFC around the world. The Colonel, the icon. This must be world history. I can see the globe right here. Spicoli reference. But seriously, look. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. And there's one in Ecuador. I know, because I've seen it. Well, Colonel, my stomach is a grumbling. A grumbling. I think I need a little KFC, don't you think? This plaque upon the brick says these are the original clay bricks. These clay bricks are from the original smokehouse that stood behind the cafe. The building was beyond repair, but these bricks were painstakingly saved. The same bricks were used on the Sanders Court Motel next door. So this used to be attached to the motel. Okay, it was a big place. And making our way. It looks like a room over here. A little display, furniture and a table that used to sit in the original cafe. Here's the Colonel. Hello, Harlan. Hello, fellow Hoosier. What made you move to Kentucky? I bet you're glad you did though. <laughs> it's a nice wax figure here. There's also, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. It's over there, but no spoilers, we'll get to it. But we're gonna go here first, to the left, because this is a model motel room. And this room here is a model of the former motel, one of the former motel rooms that used to be a part of this place, the Sanders Court. And there's a photo over here, and the motel rooms were to the right, so present day, right out there where we parked is where you would have found a hotel room or a motel room just like this. Like the old radio on the nightstand there. 
Also, here's the bathroom. It's got that old tile, kind of like that subway tile. If you ever stayed in an old roadside motel, they were all different colors, like pink, blue. This one's white, but they all have like that same tile look, like 1940s. That's so cool. We used to have an old house like that, and uh, my family did, and we had kind of set up just like this. So it's cool to see. And over here, this must be the closet. Oh no, this is actually the phone. Just like a little desk and a mirror. And there we are. There we are. Mm. That was my stomach. Looks like a little film going on over here, but I believe right here in this glass, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone in between, this was Harlan Williams, one of his suits that he wore and his cane. Get a little closer. We'll check it out over here on the wall to confirm. There's the cane. There's the colonel. There's his wardrobe. A little closer look here for you. A life of integrity. That's pretty cool to think about. I mean, how many times over the years? I mean, it's not for everyone, but you know, when I was a kid, we grew up eating KFC. That was like the, if grandma didn't make it, which my grandma is from Kentucky, she didn't make it, the colonel did, you know. No wow, so cool to see a suit here. Speechless. Before he was the colonel, he was a man. A man on a mission that would involve hard work, dedication, and chicken. Where other men would have given up, this man would succeed making it reality. The fruits of his labor, Kentucky Fried Chicken. His name, Colonel Harlan Sanders. I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps and a rumble in my tummy. I think I need a little KFC. Yeah. And before I do so, just to show you how tall Colonel Sanders really was, this is accurate. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. Oh, it smells so good. So close to ordering. Check out the red and white striped uniform. This was worn in the 60s and the 70s by the KFC workers. And there's one right here on display. Check it out. And now it's time for the kitchen. Ta-da! Okay, now what shall I order? Should I get the fish? And since it's only available at KFC, I'm gonna try the Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning. Like the Tampa Bay Lightning? Go Bolts. Oh, that's me. While I was waiting for my food, I was noticing they sell merchandise. You can buy t-shirts. Check it out, I got the three-piece box mill. Looks like I got a breast, a wing. Got two wings and a breast. And I feel like it's appropriate to sit in the oldest part of the restaurant here in the Sanders Cafe right up here in the front where the Colonel, if you were here today, would probably walk right behind me into the kitchen or out of the kitchen right there if we were back in the 40s and the 50s. It's time. It's time to eat the chicken. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Oh, and by the way, I ordered it extra crispy. That's how I like it. It's been a while. Mmm. Mmm, so good. I'd say that's good. Also, I always get the mashed potatoes with gravy and their coleslaw. I, I am a coleslaw connoisseur, KFC. One of my tops, so good. That and Long John Silver's. Something about those coleslaws. And don't forget to butter your biscuit. Gotta butter the biscuits. Gotta butter it. Butter it good. I think that's enough. To be honest, I do think the recipe changed. That might be a fact, I don't know. But it does taste a little different than I remember when I was a kid. Just a little bit, not saying it's not good. But it does taste
tastes different, but it's still good. This is my view right here as I'm eating. Looking out the window. At the former first location where this chicken was made. That's where Holland worked at the gas station. Right there where that bank is. Okay, I almost failed to show this. It's a whole entire town. Well, not the whole entire town, but the region of Sanders Court. So this was the motel. I thought it was connected. Here's where we are now. There's the restaurant. So Sanders Court was additional and to the right. This is the parking lot. This is where the giant telescopic pole is today and where I parked my car. This says it's the 1940 site model. So this is what it looked like in 1940. And there's the original gas station. All right, one more sweep of the place before we go. Colonel, thanks for having us. I needed that. I needed that so much. And I stepped out to the other side of the building so you could see the drive through. Right there's the window. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Sanders Cafe. And also there's the giant sign that I parked underneath. Man, that was fun. So much fun. Mission complete. Just letting that camera roll. Roll that beautiful chicken footage. I wonder how many times that bucket goes around each day. Must be a lot. I wonder if they turn the sign off at night. I bet they don't. I bet the thing goes all the time. All right, everyone. All right. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I am Tampa J. If it was your first time here, subscribe below and come on back. Because, just like here in Corbin, Kentucky, there's always much ahead. Thanks for watching, guys. Can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.